Hello and welcome to City Skyline. I will be your Mayor David and today I'm going to be starting a new city build. I'll be using plenty of mods for this game, so all, this, all the standard ones like Graphic Manager, Unlimited Ore, etc. But I'm also planning on using one of the new airport um, maps, but I've not really played in one of them before. Looking through them, I quite like the look of Noye Port. It looks quite wild and sort of wet. Maybe being British, I like the idea of a sort of a rugged, wet sort of coastline and stuff. But it looks exciting. We will go go for that. I will just change the name to Doverton after sort of a nickname and sort of make it sound a bit more towny. And with that, let's get going. Okay, and welcome to the um, to the new map. Let's have a quick look around before we get started. Turn it that way. Okay, so we've got what looks like quite a nice sort of flat area here to start off with, with like a, in the bowl of this ridge of hills here. Nice motorway coming in. With motorway that seems to be circling around around the outside for us, and then the coastline off to the um, off to off to the west. I think when I refer to north, east, south and west, I will be looking at it sort of like, like this. So north going up this way and south, east, west. Um, don't know why, but we're just going to go with that. So the coastline off to the west. All of the west coast. Anyway. Yeah. Looking in, looks like we've got a nice few options. Lots of sort of decent building land, a few sort of minerally patches dotted around, good access to the um, to, to highways and stuff. Actually, one thing I have noticed is usually I expect to see a train line in one of these bordering, um, bordering squares and I haven't spotted any train outside connection train line. Let's see if I see doesn't really get you much more looking on there. Um, yeah, maybe maybe there's not one. Maybe being an airport map, they decided to miss off one of those outside connections. Um, it's fine. We're playing with mods. If I really want to, I could probably push an outside connection in for for the train. But then I suppose one one good side side effect of this, is your network's always full of um, well, your train network's always full of like freight trains and cargo trains which have like 3% loading and stuff. So at least we won't have to deal with all those empty trains clogging everything up. Maybe it's just been left that way so we have to um, use the airports to um, get people in and out which would fit with it being an airport map and it could be quite exciting because I've not really built many big airports yet. Okay, so into our starting square. Having a, having a look at this. I think what, what my plan is, is to move this motorway forward, well, continue the motorway forward through here, and then on the top side, which is to the north, have a residential area, and then down here in, in the hills, have a residential area, or the dirty, polluting industry over here. Um, and then I'm gonna have, yeah, I'm gonna have an, I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna put an avenue coming across here, going up and going around the residential area. There's lots of roundabouts sort of feeding roads, roads to it, so hopefully traffic that doesn't want this area to bypass around thinking about the future and stuff. Anyway, thinking about them now, assume that's the right place, let's zoom in and let's get this started. So as always, everything starts off with a single step or in this case, a little bit of road to unlock everything. There we go started. Let's get going now that's all been released. I suppose we don't have really, any really highway yet so we'll just leave that for a moment. Start off with the main avenue, extend it out a little bit so when I can upgrade it to motorway like a bit more room for putting nice um, slip roads in and stuff. Coming in, coming off up this way, yeah, it's nice. And then if I come in here we should, should get these one way roads which will connect it up. Posh. 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 
then what I'm going to do up here, I'm going to put a roundabout on the end of this um, avenue. I'll extend it out a little bit further, try and get another couple of squares a bit further up. There we go. And then roundabout builder, we'll just pop it on there. Nice and easy, keep it simple. And then as we were expecting, I want the um, avenue to keep going up this way. Keep it on ground level, don't need that anymore, that can go away. Coming up there. Okay, so enough of that, what we do now is just concentrate on building out the city. We're using these roads I think through here, we can upgrade them later on, so pull out a nice straight bit of road all the way to there. Gosh. And then we're gonna start popping up um, a road. I'm gonna start off by putting a quick bit of road up here so we can um use this as a sort of guideline so it all matches up nicely. Because it'll probably be quite a grid setup in here. Sort of imagining sort of a sort of a 70s sort of style um, residential area that we get in the UK, which has quite a lot of sort of straight roads sort of gridded off in it and stuff. But it was nicer houses instead of just all being terraced. And along here, I don't really want much coming off off this road. I could have got the um, deactivate zoning mod, but what I think I might do instead is just put like a bike path or something up here. So it'll cut off all the zoning from this road going around anyway. But we'll leave this for now. And then across here we'll have our first road going down here. There we go. And then we'll just keep building up from here. We'll go up to... Okay, you need to be careful. We don't want to, don't want to be increasing height anywhere. Uh, luckily I've got a moving mod on. So what I'm going to do is... Just get this. And... Select everything. Deactivated. Select them all. I mean, all I need is nodes, then I select them all. Select that in here and set it to terrain height. There we go. That's because this is a bit above terrain height over there, but we'll leave it for now. Okay, let's continue with our, our grids so over there. No, no, all nice crisp 90 degree angles. Oh, I've done it wrong again. We'll get to that one, just leave it for now, that'll be a future problem. And we'll just build a few more of these. Just across here. All the way out. And back up there. Anyway, I will continue this all the way through here and I'll do the um, industrial area on the other side. I'll be back in a moment when it's all ready. Okay, welcome back and I've finished building out the start of the grid. So we've got what will be our residential area and what will be our industrial area space set up. I'll set up some services nice and quickly. So we're going to have a start off with some power. Uh, we've got options of a coal power plant or the old wind turbine. Um, I don't have a lot of money. I know it works out quite expensive but I think we have up here all the maximum sort of energy production for a wind turbine up here and what's this that's 80 a week that's fine we're going to go with a um with wind turbines let's pretend we're going to have an eco city for a little bit it's not going to be because it's going to be dirty residential dirty dirty industrial not dirty residential I'll get that right anyway so we'll put a couple here well, so seven it wasn't quite the right spot we'll put We'll put two in to start off with. Probably a bad move, but we've done it now. And then a water tower. I'm going to pop this one in the center of the roundabout because it looks cool, I think. There we go. And then we'll have a water treatment plant. Oh, I've got that in the wrong place. I wanted that to be. Oh, well, we'll put it this side for now. I was hoping I'd left enough gap so I could have just slotted this one in here, but I think I've left it one too short because I always forget. You lose a square. Okay. Anyway, let's get the water pipes connected. So, out that way. Down this way, into there. 
across here. And out to there, that's good. Up here, across, down. We'll do the same the other side. And all those under the road makes it look nice. Well, don't notice any, any difference, but. Okay, that's quite nice. I suppose that's the one good side effect having this side, is it's now made the power jump across here nice and easily. We'll start off with power cables. We'll um, just run up, up the edge of this avenue. There we go. That's all that connected. And we'll probably get across that in a moment, but we'll get to that in a moment. What I'm going to start off by doing so it'd be like the sort of the main roads of this, this this residential area. So I'm going to put some commercial along here. Just to start along with those sort of I mean, one row back, so well four rows back from the road, going along there, and then we'll get the So that's all filled in, nice and easy. So the next thing to do is position ourselves. And let's set the thing going and let's watch the city build. Out we go. Okay, I've just set it up so we've got our first citizen moving in here. Let's see who it is. Okay, owner Sophie Graham. Moving in. Welcome Sophie Graham, you're the first person I've seen moving in. Let's watch you get home then. Okay, and off we go. Driving home. Okay. Oh, there's everyone moving in. There they are, parked up outside their new house. Welcome, I hope you enjoy it. Okay. And um, while we're waiting for them to turn up, I also put in a bit of industrial area over here as, as a demand required it. What I will do is use traffic manager and we'll just set this up to make this all run a bit smoother. There we go, there we go. Nice, hopefully actually get people moving in. I suppose what I might I should set the roundabout up properly to give way coming on. We've got animals, we want to know how roundabouts work. Lovely. Easy peasy. And we'll do dedicated turning lanes while we're at it. All, all the good stuff. There we go. And we'll go back on full speed. And just watch as our city keeps growing. Coming along nicely, it's all slowly filling up, but we probably need a bit, well, just might need a bit more industrial area. So I'll just chuck in another, another square in over here. And we will give them some water before they start complaining. Be a caring mare, there we go. So you can see the city city's grow nicely. Got a good bit of profit, nearly a thousand pound a week. Oh a little hamlet. What was I saying? So we can now sort out taxes, loan, got a few new services and a few new buildings to get stuck in with. Uh, let's start popping them in. Let's go. So we've got those that done. And then coming over here, we've got some new services for our citizens. A bit of healthcare. We'll chuck in a hospital down the end here. A little clinic. 
we keep building on this way, hopefully we can get the um, power jump and get rid of that ugly bit of cabling across there. And we have a school. We've got the options of an elementary or a um go back on full speed, we haven't got the money for it. Or a um, community school. I believe there's both elementary level. Yeah. Yeah, alternative to an elementary school. I'm not quite sure what the difference is between these two are. I might have a quick check. Okay. From what I can see, the elementary school is cheaper to build, cheaper to run, and has a larger student capacity. Um, in every single way, the elementary school seems better. There must be some benefits to using a community school. Um, I mean, it does use more water and more electricity, I think, the um, elementary school. But that's not the biggest. Maybe it gives, maybe the community school gives a, um, a boost to. Uh, the areas, um, the land value. It does fit in nicely across the end, but I think purely on monetary basis at the moment, I'm just going to pop in an elementary school. We'll put it in the middle, pop it in about here. Hopefully, everyone's going to get there nice and easy. And we appear to be having power issues. Yeah, using more than we're producing. And we've got the problem that we now can't afford. Oh wait, we unlocked things in here. So we'll pause it for a moment while everything's going a bit wrong. We will leave the budgets for these as they are. Decrease the road budget. Take the loan. We now have the money to increase. It. And taxes. We know these easy to go to 12, not 13. 12 will do. Let's maximise it. No, there we go. Nearly. Go. Oh. Same again, there we go, 12 and 12 for that one. Lovely. As we were, back to getting some wind, wind turbines in. We'll continue to keep going across here, there's another 8 megawatts there. We'll drop that one in, that should get us to 23. And because we'll be a bit more future proofing, we'll just chuck a second one in, a fourth one in just there. Lovely. Otherwise, we need to put garbage collection in. How much do we need for one of those? So I'd much rather do recycling than landfills, because I hate having to around empty landfills. Uh, we need 16,000 and we're on 11. We'll let it run for now. See what profit. We're, we're making nearly a thousand credits, a thousand whatever they are. We're making over a thousand now a week. So money's coming in nicely. I mean, these will be just plopping over here somewhere. Yeah, again, sadly, I wanted to get that way, but it doesn't fit. I could just try moving all this stuff around, but I'm not sure if I'm bothered. Maybe I could put a little road off here for it to connect off on. There we go. I know it's a bit of a waste of money, but we'll just pop them in there now when we have the money. We'll just let things run. While we're waiting, might as well put a bit more industrial in here. Need a bit more residential, it looks like. Fill in two squares up here. Yeah, I know they're beginning to want to get their garbage collection. We're nearly there, just a grand and a half to get this. One week, we're making 1,600 a week. I'm pleased with that for this for this stage in the game. Oh, yeah, the symbols are, are growing now. 15,100. 15,250, 15,350, yeah we're closing in quickly, 15 and a half, there we go, just 450, 350 to go, 250 to go, nearly at it, let's get ready to click it in, and there we go, in it comes, we have garbage collection, and we'll continue this grid going up over this way, we're going to need more, more industrial area will be coming in the future, we haven't got the money at the moment, so what I'll do is I'll come back in a bit with some got the money and managed to put in more grids. Okay, so while I was waiting for the money, money to build up and increase the grids, we've hit the next level, Worthy Village. Like the sound of that. So we've got another area, districts, policies, a second loan, could be useful, and forestry and agriculture specialisation, along with some fire and police stations. Lovely. So what I will do is I will stop with my grids building at the moment and we'll just chuck in the new services 
try and keep people happy. So over here we'll put in a put in the firehouse and we'll put in a police station in just a moment when we have the money. Twelve thousand for that. Wait, 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 I've got another loan. So what I'll do is just go straight into loans, take the loan, we pay the other one, I don't want to pay too much interest. I know it's a bit of a loss of loss of money, but we'll take it the hit for now. And the police station can come in over there. And it makes the power jump. So that can go. Back in over here with the money, we'll continue with our grids. Okay, and Tiny Town has now been reached. This has unlocked its park areas, industrial areas, and along with a few other things, some more policies, parks and plazas, industrial areas, fishing. Okay, all of this stuff, lots of lots of good stuff there. Some new roads, the old footpaths making oh industrial roads, canals, fences and some new buildings, most of which just appear to be parks, but we've also got high schools and libraries and stuff now. Lots of fun stuff in there, good, 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 good. And we'll just pop in a little bit more along here. Okay, what did we get that needs to go in? Nothing in here, but we might put in a sports or gymnasium soon. Be a nice thing to add in. How much does that cost? 120. Actually, that might wait a while because that's actually quite expensive. Nothing new there, nothing new there, yeah, because it was elementary schools. Not elementary, high school. And we also have Institute of Creative Arts. Like the um, community school, it is a just another copy of what these are, but what well, equivalent of what these are, so it's an equivalent high school. Uh, again, I haven't checked the differences, but I assume it might be similar to what the community school is. So let's have a check the differences. Yeah, so like the, like the um, community school, the Institute of Creative Arts costs more to upkeep, costs more to build, and has a lower student capacity. I mean, it does use up less water and electricity also. Um, again, maybe it increases the area's desirability and stuff. But at this point, we're going to keep it simple. We're just going to pop in a pop in a high school. We will come in down here. We will keep this area keep running out this way a bit further. But we'll have another another entrance into the area, and we will adjust the speed limit on this road so people might try and bypass this area more than going through it. So we'll pop him in down there. I can't build a library, I haven't got the money for that. But we've got parks. Lots of parks are required. So does anything fit in the gap? No, that won't. Stop. And we'll put another park in. It's not the most exciting layout of park, but it's making people a bit happy and then you'll pop some stuff in the middle. I usually put an awful of these in because they always fit nicely in a gap like that. Oh there's schools in that one isn't it? I mean it would be evicting a lot of people to pop it in there. But we're gonna go for it. Bye bye people. 
but there's lots of other places for you to go so it's not too bad maybe a little less caring of the mayor than he maybe he should have been but we will increase across here let there be a few more building plots so they can at least there's somewhere else that they can go live not totally kick them out and now that we've put the parks in we can start actually doing some um, zoning I'll zone up this area here So that's zone done, it looks like we need more electricity. Okay, now that we've got electricity we can go back to sorting our district out. Um, I thought about naming my districts after, after pubs or something, just to give them some form of name. So I start off with a pub next to my first student house, the Florence Arms. So we'll have Florence Square. Yeah, you know, this is quite a square area, so we think that sort of fits. Enter that one. Policies. Uh, not sure what policies to go for. Might just leave it, leave it all as it is, so that that will be fine. Leave the style as it is. Nice. Okay, we're using up all our water. Luckily, we now have a second roundabout, so we can just pop in another one of those probably and hopefully that will get to get those guys being happy again okay there we go all disappearing all back to being good our next target is well our next milestone be boomtown population 2800 okay got 700 more people to come in getting there and lots of things unlocked at that point. At the moment, we just need to probably let things run, keep it going nice and fast, and just need to in probably increase a bit the areas so everything can be ready for when we hit that landmark. You can see we've got a garbage symbol popping up. I'm going to go through and check all our services, make sure that they're matching up. So electricity is looking good, way overproducing at the moment. It's good because we seem to be expanding quickly, so we're using all that up. Water obviously is good now, we've got the second water tower in, sewage treatment still looking good. Waste. Garbage processing status is red. Yeah, we've got a couple of them popping up now. Might need to put in a second recycling centre to sort that out. Education, um, eligible capacity, might need a second elementary school with ex exceeding capacity there. High school is good, way good at that. Universities don't exist yet, so it's good. Might, yeah, a second elementary school will probably be required over here somewhere. And then, happiness, yes, yeah, good. Healthcare, average healthcare, yeah, that's all looking good. So mostly it looks like we need more, more waste services. So we've got a second recycling centre in here opposite there. And we might have to put in a second elementary school soon. Over here expanding further, I think this area of residential, this block here, has reached almost its maximum area. I'm going to be starting to expand this side of the road soon. We'll have another avenue going up this way. I think I might try and put a park into this area, whether it be a city park or a nature reserve. But we'll have a, another residential area coming up here and then expand, extend out the avenue this way. And then we'll have the highway coming round, connecting over here and going up over that way. That is my plans for the future anyway. While we're waiting, I might as well continue putting in more residential areas. 
don't have much demand for it at the moment, but we'll just get ahead of the curve and hopefully we can get get things expanding. There we go. We can hear the ting 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 as things are upgrading. It's all nice, all good. Yeah, it's a full it's a full elementary that one. We could increase the budget for it. Down here. Yeah, we're gonna need to expand this area. I'll do that quickly and then we'll think about the placement of the next elementary school. That can go along there a bit further. Oh, Boo Town. Okay, so I think all the areas got buses, trams, tours, postal services, highways. I can now actually continue the highway all the way up through here. That could be good. We can start designing everything up. Water pipes and heating. It's not a cold map, probably don't need that one. But some of the things in here, yes, we've got. Child care, elder care, geothermal heating plants, yeah, that's heat, we don't need that one. Lots and lots of things to play with here. Finish this area up down here, and then that might might do it for this episode. We'll come back and use all those new things in the next one. Okay, as I say, I think that'll do it for this episode. I'll see you again next time for when we can start putting in those extra services. Until next time, stay safe. Bye.